Portrait Artist of the Year, Season 7, Episode 3. So far, this has been a good season, so let's see what happens this time. Let's get started. And if you would, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribe, because YouTube loves a thumbs up. So first, we're going to look at the different uh, self-portraits that people did. Now, this is a print. I think that's fairly obvious here. Uh, so the time constraints of a print are going to be really, really rough. Here's one that just speaks to me very much because of the lost and found edges going on here. So I'm looking forward to that one. Oh gosh, the color in this, super exciting on that one. I do respond to color more than I do to muted tones, but that's a personal preference. There's a lovely painting and a very small size for the usual submissions. I'm not sure what's gonna, what she'll pick to do today. Uh, here she is holding her little bunny rabbit. I love to see how people present themselves. Uh, and here's an interesting one, which is so dark. Yeah, um, I mean, it's that black is very interesting, but I, I think it might be um, scratch, scratched work. Um, interesting perspective on the self-portrait here as well. Um, and so it, oh, oh boy, look at the light on the figure there. Ooh, that's really beautiful. And I love how much all the space around her as well. And here's a very unusual submission in terms of it looks like pen and ink. So uh, let's start with the usual format. Our first model is Melanie Sykes, and she's a model and a presenter. I don't think that's much of a surprise when you see her. She's obviously very beautiful and has a very symmetrical face and you know she was very tall and willowy so that fits with with what we know for a model's body and so um four hours in we get a chance to see what the artists have done and she will be taking one of these paintings home which has nothing to do with the final judging so the artists are turning their easels around this looks really exciting especially that one right in the foreground there so um i'm excited to see what we get. So the first one up is, remember the self-portraits? There was one that was very dark and looks like it was scratched um, on some sort of um, dark, a dark paper that would have white showing through. So this is pencil work, is what I'm trying to say. And this is, this is that same person. I uh, don't know that they would pick a work in pencil as the $10,000 commission piece but that is completely unknown at this time. Now, I, I, when we get close up, it, it's, it's um, we don't, it, there's a real flatness going on here in the form, so I'm not sure about that. Now, this one really excited me a lot. I, I was super excited when I saw this one turn around. Hashtag Joe is always wrong, because I thought, oh, she'll win this episode for sure, which you already know from my, and what I've already said, that she's not going to win this episode, but I thought this really had a capture, you know, a capture of a personality and a specific moment. And then the richness of color behind her is just really exciting and uses a lot of thick paint and isn't restrained. So I thought that was, I thought it was an exciting piece. And now let's look at a detail up a little bit closer. Yeah, that's, that's really beautifully done. Um, it's very hard to make those simpler forms and, and not get caught up in the, the intricacies of every single thing that you say, uh, uh, see, excuse me. You know, paint what you see, not what you think you see. Is, is, isn't that how it goes? Yeah, I think so. Um, and now from far away, that's a good size. Now in her self-portrait, it was a very small size, so I'm surprised she picked this in the four hours, but she covered all the real estate required there, so nice job on that. And look how eager and happy she is. Now, this is the last one in this particular heat of the three people. And, and I thought the proportion of the uh, bottom of the face was a little off, but I loved the color. Uh, and I liked the, um, again, the sim simplicity of forms. And there definitely are forms there. This is a really strong painting. I just, like I said, there there seemed to be something a little off with with the bottom of the face. But... See right there, see that looked more like her. There, yeah, there's something going on in that chin, lower uh, chin area that was a little too long or something. Um, but, uh, but anyway, so here we go. So Melanie is gonna pick one to take home with her and let's see which one she picks. Oh, she picks the one that I loved. Well, good for her. 
And as I said, as I was watching, I thought, okay, here, here we go. She's, uh, she's just uh, teeing up the ball to take the program. But uh, let's see what happens next. So our next contestant up is named Iman Walker. And Iman is an actor. I'm not familiar with this work, but you probably are, since many of the viewers are in the UK. Are, uh, looking, well, they have gotten more simplistic in their backgrounds this season, haven't they? We haven't had a lot of wild stripes or, or weird stuff going on behind. Now they're tending to be kind of muted or colored backgrounds. All right, the artists turn their easels around and we get our first chance to see what's going to happen here. And, oh, it looks like there's going to be some pretty significant... Uh, differences between these guys. Okay, here's the first one up. Um, well, he's not a colorist, and so I have to take away my bias and pretend if he had chosen colors that I liked, you know, in terms of brightness rather than muted tones, would I like this better? And uh, I would say a little bit of no, because it's um, it's a little, a little stiff or a little off. I'm not sure. Yeah, close up. It's strong, I'll say that for it, but it's it's not a painting that's going to stick with me or that I'm going to remember. Although, believe me, if I had four hours, I would have been tearing my hair out. The fact that these people do this at all is just, I would just want to say thank you to them so much. Oh, when we pull back, much, much better. Yeah, much, much better. So, um, oh my gosh, now I realize he's the guy who had the painting with all the color in it when it was a self-portrait. Huh, funny that he made that choice. Now, this t I, I had to look this up and look back in my notes because this is the printmaker, and she used, it looks like she used pastels for this particular entry. So she did not get in on her pastel skills. She got into the program based on the print that she did, which looked like a linoleum cut. So this just doesn't, doesn't meet the standard that the other people are, are working at, and that's because it's, it's probably not her medium of choice. And yeah, when we pull back, that's that's true as well. So I'm going to sort of discount this one. Uh, although I, you know, of course I liked her entry. I just don't think it's fair to judge printmaking, which takes considerable time against, uh, you know, what you can do with paint in four hours. This looks much more like our model. And it does have some color value swap out so that everything isn't quite as gray and muted as, as what we've seen coming Come, uh, shown so far. That was a nice choice of green in the background. Um, clearly they didn't finish and would have benefited from some more time. I wonder if there would have been more layers put on. Uh, oh, she was the one whose self-portrait was very gray and, and, and the picture was, um, her self-portrait kind of had you looking basically up her nose. <laughs> it was, it was, a, uh, so that's interesting. I, it's it's very different than her self-portrait, so I'm not sure what that means. I'm always looking for consistency, and our career is really based on your consistency over time. Okay, well, Iman picked this one to go home. That's clearly the one I would have picked as well. I think it's the strongest one in that particular group. Now, our next model is uh, Deborah James, and Deborah James is an author and campaigner. Oh my goodness, in my notes I wrote down complainer. I thought, I don't think she can be a professional complainer. <laughs> that would be ridiculous, right? Although on cable TV we de in the United States, we definitely have some professional complainers. So I digress. Let's see what happens in Deborah's section. Here are the four painters, uh, three painters turning their easels around. She'll pick one to take home. Oh, this looks strong. This looks strong. Um, so let's look a little closer. Well, that's, boy, I, I, I really love parts of this because it's kind of that mixture of painting and drawing. And when people do it extremely well, it, it, it works really, really well. Um, I don't think she nailed the likeness. It looks somewhat like the sitter, but she didn't nail the likeness. But I do like the treatment of the paint. I'm always going to respond to um, oranges being played against blues. There, I like it. Oh, I like it better with it, you know, cropped like that. Suddenly, it isn't quite as flat, and it seems to be more flowing, and it's just a stronger piece right there. Oh, that's interesting. I like to think about that when it comes to my own work. Um, and you know, it must be so nerve-wracking for these artists. Yeah, when we pull away, see something. Something's a little off on the face. I don't know what it is. Uh, but uh, 
it, yeah, I have absolutely no idea what it is. But I, so there's a lot she got right, I guess is what I want to say. There's a lot she got right, but the overall, when you pull back, starts to not look like the model and is kind of a, a weak effort at the end of the day. Now, this was the pen and ink uh, person from the beginning when we looked at her uh, self-portrait. You know, this just isn't going to hold up as being a $10,000 commission um, contestant. I just don't think it's, it's, it's up to the task. Is it interesting? Is it fun to see lyrical lines being used? Well, yeah, of course, but, uh, but I don't think she's a contender in this particular program. So what do they say in the U.S.? Thank you for participating and enjoy your other endeavors. All right, on to the next. This is a strong piece and very confident. Hmm. Yeah, I think this one probably has the most resemblance to her as well. It, uh, uh, this person just might have the goods to actually, uh, actually win this particular episode. I'm not sure. I think we have to pull back, which I don't think we get a chance to do. Oh, we do. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it almost looks like a self-portrait, <laughs> but, um, uh, but it just happens that her coloring and, and the, the shirt she wore is similar to what she did in the painting. It's a beautiful piece. So let's see which one Deborah picks to take home, and then we'll get to the meat of the program, which is the real judging part, which is always quite fascinating. I do watch the sound off. I think I've shared that before. I'm not sure I have to say that every single time, but, but I tend to. Uh, so let's see what Deborah picked. Um, she picked, oh, she picked that one, nice and strong. Okay, well done. Now we get on, like I said, to the meat of the program, the final judging. Now, the final judging has all the artists lined up. There are nine of them. Remember, there were three in each one of the, um, for each one of the models. And they're going to pick only three of them as finalists in this particular episode. But only one will go forward to what they call the semifinals. So, I know from talking with people that it's an incredibly nerve-wracking and very, very long day. It may be four hours of actual painting on task, but you've got to get to the venue, you've got to set up, there's a lunch break in the middle of that, and evidently you are interviewed uh, at least eight times as you're working, and that would, that would really mess with my nervous system and my ability to concentrate. So hats off to all these people. All right, there's our first finalist for today. I think that's a a strong and good choice. Um, we've already talked about the painting. Let's take a look what they did this time that they've never done before. Oh, I'll, I'll talk about what they never did before in a second. Uh, here's our second semi-finalist for the day. That's a strong piece. I'm looking, I would look forward to seeing more of what this artist has to show us, especially with more time. And this one, the one that I really liked that I thought captured the moment did not make it to the end of this episode, which once again, I'm very, very surprised at. I thought she would at least get uh, as far as this, but, but she did not. And so this is what I wanted to show. Usually they will show the self-portrait that they entered the program with alongside what the work that they did today. And in this particular contestants, um, uh, they did not do that. And so I had to show them separately. So this is her self-portrait. I don't know if you remember, but she was holding a bunny on her lap. And she is the one that did the self -por the uh, portrait today that I think is just a little off. I'm not sure why it's off, but it's just a little off. I'm sure she was having a nervous day and, and, and you know, it's just as simple as that. But I, I don't know why they didn't show the two together. Uh, but here they do show the two together, which I really appreciate. Remember I was saying that her self-portrait, you were kind of looking up her nose. So this was her self-portrait on the left and the work she did today. Um, I think she pushed herself today a bit when it comes to color, so good for her. But it's so unfinished. I know that they'll judge her on what she did today, not on what she didn't do today. So um, I think she's a contender, but I'm, I'm not sure, and I'm almost always wrong. So let's see what happens with our third semifinalist. Oh, oh okay. Now, now I think I am understanding something. That's such a strong self-portrait on the left. And I mean, in terms of the composition as well as the execution. So I think what they did in this particular, uh, for this particular person is, uh, I think that they gave her self-portrait a lot of weight. 
but uh, but we don't know for sure. So let's see what happens in the, the final judging. The final judging means that they're going to be these three semifinalists are going to be judged against each other, but only one will go on to what they call the semifinals. And uh, that's usually episode nine or something. Here they are, the semifinalists. You can see them all together from far away. They read well from across the room, which is good because the final commission is a gallery setting. I mean, a museum gallery setting. So you gotta be pretty strong in being able to get your values and your colors in so they can read across a room or from a distance. And the winner is, dun 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 dun. <laughs> the winner is this one, which like I said, I think there's a problem with the bottom of the part of the face, but if she had more time, she would have noticed it and she would have made those adjustments. I do think that her self portrait is really quite exquisite and I can't help but think that that's really what they judged her in on as well as how confident and strong this particular piece is which it is so I am looking forward to seeing her in the semifinals and as we leave let's just take one more look at her self-portrait and the portrait she did today yeah this is a real delight this program today so remember to keep the whites your paper white your paints wet mass for value and mix for color and I will see you next time bye bye